Now, Devstream 125 was a much shorter affair than what we are used to. Normally, the run for anything from an hour to an hour and 10 minutes, this one ran for about 40, and most of the content of this Devstream revolved around fashion or primed warframes or even deluxe skins as well. So, to just jump right into it, this is Equinox Prime, the next warframe in game to be given the primed treatment. Now, she looks great from having the horns twisted in different directions in that deep fall stance to having the horns downwards in night stance and upwards in day stance which is absolutely perfect for me because I only really run my equinox for night for either rest and rage or for peaceful provocation but at the same time there's no denying that the day form looks absolutely badass as well now along with equinox prime in this prime access we are also getting the stradivar prime as the primary weapon and the torpedo prime as well as the melee weapon and the accessories apparently will be a full armor set and a cyandana as well so this prime access is coming pretty stacked if i guess you pick up the accessories as well i mean we normally get either an armor set or a cyandana not both as well as two weapons and the frame so there's plenty to get your hands on now the stats for equinox prime and of course her weapons are apparently still very much subject to change but we did get a sneak peek at the stats on screen of what it is right now before they choose to change anything or not the camera was blocking some of the stats though equinox prime looks like she comes with 20 extra armor 15 extra energy and 25 extra health and it won't take you eight parts to actually build her Apparently, it's only going to take you four parts like every other Warframe. Now, the stats on the Stradivar Prime's primary fire had it sitting with the 24% crit chance that the normal one has, so it's pretty much the same, but it has got a slightly higher crit multiplier. Its secondary fire mode had a 30% crit chance compared to the normal's 28, but it has 90 rounds in the magazine compared to the normal Stradivar's 65. So it does look like an upgrade, definitely in terms, I guess, of more DPS, because you have more rounds in the magazine, and you have a slightly higher crit chance as well. Now, the Torpedo Prime stats has it with a higher crit chance, higher crit multiplier, Player and a higher status chance by an extra I think it's about four percent but it has got that slower attack speed so the torpedo is a weapon that a lot of players love to use for that fast attack speed but this one is going to be a little bit slower now both of these weapons look amazing but you can let me know in the comment section below what you think of them and also what you think I guess of the complete prime access we don't I think have a date for it yet just very soon TM. Now we also got another look at our next new Warframe to be added into the game which of course is Wisp who apparently has had her assets covered up a little bit. There is now cloth tails that hang down over her butt. Now we still don't know what her abilities are because they're not ready to show them off so we haven't been shown what Wisp can actually do. Some of you kind of caught sight of the fact that her passive might be the fact that she becomes invisible when she jumps or maybe she takes no damage when she jumps on the last dev stream but what they did show off on this dev stream in relation to Wisp was what her primary weapon is going to look like so her signature weapon but we have no feckin' idea what it actually is is it a sniper is it a shotgun an assault rifle we have no bloody clue now we also got shown a deluxe shotgun skin coming with the new nyx deluxe skin whenever it arrives that was shown off on the last dev stream this shotgun skin i think is for the tigress and it looks pretty damn cool as well now for those of you who love and absolutely live for fashion frame in game you will soon be able to equip a second energy color to your warframe so double energy colors on your warframe of choice will soon be a thing whenever you put a former into a warframe it will unlock a second energy color option so that you can blend the two of them together so former will now give you added fashion frame now atlas's deluxe skin was also shown off in fact this dev stream like i said was all about fashion in a sense even the planes of eidolon's visual overhaul was fashion in a way like I said, the Atlas Deluxe skin was shown again, but this time they showed off his golems. Whenever he casts them now, they're going to actually mirror his Deluxe skin. So they won't look like the default golems you have when you run around with the normal Atlas with no fucking neck. Also, conservation will be coming to the Plains of Eidolon along with the rework for those Plains visuals. So you're going to be able to hunt 
creatures in order to get their floofs so rejoice at that as well now that's pretty much the main topics of the dev stream like i said they had to cut it short because rebecca was incredibly ill not well at all and it was hard for her to keep going with the stream but they mentioned the fracture event that's going on right now out in orvalis will be returning in a similar way to ghouls which is okay i know it's not exactly an exciting game mode but we do need the Termia in order to kill the Exploiter Orb. So if you want to keep farming him, you're going to need to run some of these Fractures in order to get some of that Termia. Now, as a final reminder for myself, I will be doing a giveaway stream tomorrow on Twitch TV. The link is in this video's description. This giveaway will be for PC and, of course, all consoles. There will be a lot of Platinum given away, as well as two Mesa Prime access packs as well. There is also a Twitch drop campaign running right now for the duration of the weekend as well as a double credit weekend at the same time so there's a lot going on in warframe and like i said i will be streaming it tomorrow from 3 p.m gmt anyway let me know what you think of equinox prime if you're happy with her visuals or not if you love playing as equinox what you think of the weapons they chose to actually bring with her i know some players were saying they were kind of hoping for maybe better weapons but it is what it is now do me a huge favor hit that like button if you enjoyed the video or don't if you didn't subscribe for more warframe and as always thanks very much for watching oh, <laughs> oh my god he's so amazing no no ah, no no ah, where'd he go <laughs> i'm dying steve let's make peace you will not make peace with him. No, I'm gonna make peace. Punch uh, him, one punch him. Oh, one punch him, hit one. No, 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 we're friends. You're not friends. Or are oh. you? Did you kill him? No, he's too tough. Look at him come. Oh! What's he doing? He's what pooping. is that? What is that? <laughs> no, <laughs> get away, get away. Where'd he go?